Hi Pisces, I am Anisha. To know more about my work, you may visit my website www.tarobyanisha.com. For those of you who are seeking deeper clarity, be it in your love life or your career, for a personal consultation, you may write to me at tarobyanisha at gmail.com. Pisces, it's a big month. We have uh, Mercury, which is retrograde since the 20th of May, and it carries on being so till about 23rd of June. So not a great time to be buying heavy ticket items, not a great time to be buying electronics, not a great time to be starting a job, getting into a relationship or even starting a new diet. But it's a wonderful time to be renegotiating. It's a wonderful time to be backing up your entire data. It's a wonderful time for research. It is also a good time to be selling all your old electronic items. Should you have to buy an electronic item, uh, Pisces, ensure that you have a warranty or a receipt or a guarantee so that you can go back in case of a software glitch. Also be extremely careful about travel during the Mercury retrograde. It's most likely that your plans could get foiled at the last minute. There could be misunderstandings, there could be delays. And be very careful about communication as well, your emails, SMSs and WhatsApp. We have an eclipse, a solar eclipse that is there on the 10th of the month and eclipses are sometimes disruptive, they are shakeups, they lead us to major life events or more subtle inner change. Eclipses carry the signature of change, they shake us up, turn us around and ask us to adapt to the changing environment around us. The house in eclipse falls in, it shows us the area of life we will be asked to grow beyond what we have previously known. The room for this, the specific astrological house, has become too small, it's become cramped, it's become tight. So being, we are being asked to outgrow it, grow beyond it. What is really interesting to note is that eclipses run through the zodiac every 19 years or so. And when the eclipses occur, try and remember where it is that you were 19 years back. Maybe your life is carrying out a core pattern that you may not even realize. An eclipse in astrology, be it a lunar eclipse or a solar eclipse, it tends to bring about unexpected changes or unexpected events. Solar eclipse fortunately brings about new beginnings and new opportunities. On the third, we have Venus that is moving into your house of love, romance, creativity and it is joining Mars. Wonderful time to be starting a creative project, Pisces. Wonderful time to be for publishing, writing, creating a piece of music, painting. Great time to be spending with your loved ones. Wonderful time to be counseling children as well. On the 10th, we have a solar eclipse that is set in your house of home. And this is very interesting because we have a Mercury retrograde over there and we also have sun over there. Now, eclipse in your house of home. The eclipse in this house brings attention to your home, like the person with whom you share your space, you share your life, and the forces that also shaped your emotional body. They could loom large ahead in front of you, and perhaps they could be triggered by a certain event. You may also have very meaningful encounters during this time. Maybe you could be meeting with someone from your past, you could be uh, discovering a legacy, you could be finding some treasure from the uh, past, maybe it could be some old album, you could be finding something about your ancestors. So it could be a very interesting time wherein you could be discovering your roots. This also has to do your current home. Maybe something is disruptive over there. Maybe there could be the sense of uh, restlessness while being at home. A lot of you could be looking at changing a house or renovating your house or redoing something. You could also get re-energized on a professional level because this is also the house of not just home but also your work. And maybe you will be looking at something to connect on a deeper level, something which has a purpose for you. For a lot of you, it will be aligning with your personal mission of who you are in the world and how it is that you not just parent others but parent yourself, Pisces. It's very important and you would want to be recognized for the work that you do in the world and for who you are. On the 12th, we have Mars that is moving into your house of home. They could just be the sense of wanting to take your diet under control. You would want to put a, 
uh, a diet regime a health regime in place a lot of you will be quite active as far as your work is concerned maybe now along with the restlessness i think there could be some good news that could be coming your way maybe a project is coming your way maybe you're looking at collaborating with someone on the 21st we have sun which also comes and join venus in your house of love and romance so wonderful time to be spending time with your loved ones uh, sharing maybe old memories creating new memories just a very nice warm uh, energy is there also it's a great time to be pursuing your creative ventures on the 23rd we have mercury that goes direct so again it's a great time for focusing on your foundations on your committed partnerships on your marriage it's also paying attention to your inner psychological self on your uh, imagination on your introspection and since you're ruled by neptune uh, pisces try and um try and put your feet more firmly on the ground your head can stay in the cloud but try and sort of plan a little bit ahead as far as your work is concerned what now where it is that you see yourself what is it more that has been really close to your heart and should you be taking that leap of faith now we closing the month on the 24th with a full moon that is there in your house of groups of friends and it is resonating with pluto so it can be that something from the past comes up regarding a uh, with a friend maybe somebody an old friend asks you to collaborate with them it could also be that you would want to hang around spend time with people who share your vision who share similar goals as you do it is this um full moon is also going to be bringing about clarity about who's a friend and who's not and people on whom you need to be depending and on people you need to be cutting uh, loose from the entire full moon energy could be slightly emotional as well for you you could have this sense of feeling um almost cheated for some of you it could be a sense of betrayal and and more on the sense of emotional not really physical you could always you know you could you could be thinking that a friend could have stood up to you much better so they could just be the sense of feeling let down however full moon also tends to bring about new beginnings so the good thing is that while something is ending it's creating space for something new to grow so have courage and take a leap of faith this month pisces it's been a pleasure speaking with you i'll see you again soon and thank you so much for watching